Did you ever say, I read somewhere where you said you have never met any good white people? Um, I said in the beginning of my slavery video that I hadn't met any good white people. And my definition of good is that you understand that this is a question of power, that you'll be willing to give up some power, that you'll be willing to give up some resources, that you'll be willing to pay black people reparations for our, hunt, our years and years of service in this country. Uh, that you'd be willing to go home and tell your white mother and father about white racism and how it affects and kills black people in our communities. That's my definition of good white people, and I haven't met any like that. All right, Shalom. This is Brother Nahal, your friend of GMS Orlando Camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah. And a sincere salutation to all you who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquat who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the name of the one they ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is the name of the one they ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashim is in the name. Raka is spirit. Kodash is holy. Akyam is brothers. Aquat is sisters. Shalawan means peace, and Yashar Allah is Israel in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. All right, now I want to go into a lesson through the spirit on the clip you just saw. Um, and I'll just get right into it. All right. So this is Psalms chapter 106 and verse 40. And it reads, therefore, was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them. All right. Now, for edification's sake, just because somebody has the skin color uh, of a so-called white person, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily an Edomite according to the lineage of their fathers but the so-called white man as a nation of people their biblical nationality is edom and they're not made to love you all right that's why the scriptures say they that hated them ruled over them all right and this is something our people have to have a ruling class mentality to understand you know that they're not in the business of helping you you know our people keep looking for a good so-called a uh, white person to help their condition but they're not that's not what they're set up to do all right this is romans chapter 13 and one it says let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power of yahweh by shimel shai the powers that be are ordained salakia let me read that again romans 13 and one let every soul but be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of Yahweh by Shemuel Washai. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh by Shemuel Washai. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil, without then not be afraid of the power. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of Yahweh Shai, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. All right, so they're set up. They're set up to do exactly what they're doing right now. All right, and this is why it's better to, to appeal to the Lord. It's better to go to the source. You know, brothers bring this out all the time. If you were locked up in the penal system, you don't go to the CEO to ask you to uh, to ask him to free you from the cell. You have to go to the judge because the judge gave you the sentence. You know, the Lord ultimately put us in this predicament. But our people have trimmed their ways to seek love. And the idea of acceptance is going to destroy many of our people. You know, our people don't realize that you have to return to the Lord. Because even people that understand what she was saying, they think that we should just start our own infrastructure inside of this system. Which is not possible. All right. When you look at it, the, this place was set up for our correction. It wasn't set up for our benefit. It wasn't cre it wasn't a system created for us to win. All right. So you're not going to find a good Edomite. They're not set up to be good. They're not set up to love you. They're set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah for your correction. All right. Let's go here. Let's go here. Because our people have to renew. I mean, well, they're not going to do it, but the elect have a renewed understanding. You know, we understand the politics of of nations. We understand that every nation is meant to to cleave to their to each other. They're not meant to love you. They're not meant to look at you as an equal. They're meant to look at you 
for what for what they see you as. All right, let's go here. This is Ecclesiastes 13 and 14. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. Every beast loveth his like and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind and a man will cleave to his like. And see how people keep fighting for equality when this nation is not set up for that. It's set up for the benefit of the Edomites. This is their kingdom. You don't get to rule side by side in their kingdom. This is why even the rich Jakes, they don't have act the same access. Money doesn't always equate to access. And this is why you have a lot of rich so-called Jakes that don't have the ability to, to get any resources. They don't have the ability to, to start infrastructure. That is true power. Fiat currency and the abundance of fiat currency is not true power. At the same time, one Jake becoming successful doesn't move the needle for us as a nation of people. This is why you won't find, quote unquote, good Edomites. This is their kingdom. They're not supposed to give you their kingdom. In the scriptures, the, the scriptures tell us that we're going to take the kingdom under how we shall. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. All right, let's get that. So they're not going to give it to you. You know, she was saying, uh, are you willing to give us resources? Are you willing to? No, they're not willing to do that. And they shouldn't. When you look at it, when you look at it from a biblical standpoint, they're not supposed to love you. They're not supposed to look at you as their equal. It's in their best interest to keep you on the bottom. That's what opposition does. That's what an enemy would do. They would do what's good for them. When you understand that, you understand the process. You don't get bugged out about Edomites hating you. You don't get bugged out that you can't find a good Edomite. Real quick, this Daniel 7. And, ju and jumping down to 22. And it reads, I beheld, Salakia, 21, I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. All right. The saints are going to possess the kingdom. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump down. So like here, verse 18, jumping up. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So it's not going to be given to us. All right. It's not going to be given to us by these Edomites. I'll say it that way because the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. Power is not uh, earned. It's given. You know, the Lord is going to give power in due season to, to us as a nation of people, beginning with the only begotten son who his name is Yahweh Shai. And then we reach a commonwealth. Then we have a commonwealth. Our people keep trying to fight to be even at another man's table. This is their table. This is why with patience, we wait for new heavens and new earths wherein dwells righteousness. In this kingdom, our reputation is tarnished. We have to wait until the Lord turns things right side up. And this is when you understand that, when you zoom out, you understand through the spirit, you, you have a ruling class mentality. You understand that the Lord promised us to rule over our oppressors, not to have to go to them and ask them to give us resources, to ask them to give us power. Because that's what she was basically saying. I haven't seen an Edomite that's going to do that. And they're not. They're not set up to do that. They're set up to rule over you. They're set up to wickedly rule over you. They're set up to afflict you. All right. That's what they're set up for. They're not set up to give you anything. All right. The scriptures say if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. The only reason he's giving Jake all of these little resources on this side is because He's already got you in the bag. You don't have any other resource. You can't go anywhere else. You have to go to him. To a million, they're giving you a dollar is nothing. All right, this is Isaiah 51 and 22. It says, Thus saith thy Lord, the Lord, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground <laughs> and as the street to them that went over. So they're fulfilling their lot. All right. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. 
They're not supposed to be good to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And this is why two thirds of our people, they're they're done, man, because they don't have the they don't understand. They don't see it. They don't have the vision. When you see it from a ruling class mentality, you understand that Esau, the so-called white man, is, is doing exactly what he's supposed to be supposed to be doing. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. There are no good Edomites and they there shouldn't be. They weren't created for that. The scriptures plainly, clearly say if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. All right, and I'm going to get that. I mentioned it a few times. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Yeah, they done started war wars between each other. You know, right now, what they're doing to Ukraine, those are Edomites in Ukraine, and they're using them like a pawn on the chessboard. The Americans are sending those Ukrainian men to die to weaken another nation of Edomites. So if they, if they operate like that amongst each other, what do you expect? All right, it says, he shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Yeah, they set up the welfare system. And our people looked at it like they did a good thing. And they broke up the homes doing it. You know, they, they brought Jake into these banks and was like, look, we're going to give y'all loans. And it was predatory loans. When you zoom out, you understand that this is how they're supposed to operate. And then you get less emotional about it. You just understand that this is a part of the process. We were brought here for this purpose. But a long story short, there are no good Edomites. Now, again, you have our people. You have Israelites that may look like so-called white people. So this isn't about skin color, but as a nation of people, the so-called white men are Edomites. And they're not set up to be good to you. They're not set up to like you. They're set up to be envious and hateful against you. They've created a system that, that shows you that. Their actions speak louder than brothers' words. It's our people that get offended when we say the so-called white man is, is the devil. But they really can't argue with that, with that point. Because they know their actions. They're aware of their actions. It's our people who have believed the narrative that people have said to them. But the things that they've said to our people, they have not backed up with action. Even in the world, they say, don't judge what a person says, judge what they do. This is why the Lord told us never trust our enemies. It doesn't mean that you go and you just be ignorant. You still have to be at peace with all men if possible. But just like an ambassador walking into a, a UN assembly, for instance, even if it's two warring countries right now, they still are able to be civil and cordial. But they, they understand and they recognize this is my enemy. That is a part of having a ruling class mentality. And the Lord is raising up that understanding amongst the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. This is Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23. And it reads, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. And the answer is no. They were created for this purpose. This is what they were created for. All right. This is Proverbs. Chapter 16 and verse four. And it reads, the Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right, so with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquad, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.